Big story we've been following the last couple days. Yesterday, the Rockford Speedway announced it would be closing its doors for good after its 76th year of racing this season. The nearly 50 acre site will now be transferred over to HJS development for commercial use. How they plan to use it is yet to be determined, but whatever is going to take the place of the speedway is sure to leave a void in the hearts of those who made memories there. And it's not just racing fans that are still processing that the speedway is closing. So are the drivers and their families. 13 WREX's Dylan Valencia spoke with families who grew up having the speedway at the center of their homes. Dylan, what'd they tell you? That's right. Families around the community have started to wrap their minds around what will be like to no longer have cars racing at their local track, but are hopeful for the final lap one last time this season. We built our memories around that track. We built our relationship kind of around that track. Carolyn Russell's first official job was at Rockford Speedway 23 years ago when she was only 17. Who gets to say they get to watch the races while they're working? I mean, not very many people get to do that, and I got to do that. She met her husband, David Russell Jr., there on the track, who has raced at the Speedway for 18 years now, car number eight, her family, making plans to have their daughter follow in her father's footsteps. It was going to be her first time. She was so ready to race. She was very upset when she was told that she may not be able to race on the track. Misty Robinson and her family also called the Speedway home, with their son also having plans to follow in his father's footsteps. He asked his dad, well, I don't get to race there, and his dad told him, no, you'll never get to race there, and it broke his heart, and his dad teared up. Recently visiting the Speedway to pick up her husband's Rookie of the Year banner. Everybody just knew everybody here, and it's going to be different going to a different track and just getting to know new people and trying to make them your family. Both families not wanting to see anything take its place. I don't want anything to replace it. I wish it could remain a racetrack. When it's gone, I don't think I'll even drive by this corner. We don't need any more grocery stores. We don't need any more restaurants. There's plenty of those around here. There are other tracks out there, but it's just not Rockford. It's not home. Now, in addition to the Speedway preparing to close, the neighboring business, Forest Hills Banquet Lodge, will also permanently shut its doors for good on June 1st. Derek? All right, thank you, Dylan.